guys, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my first month receiving Birchbox. Um, I was having a little bit of issues with Ipsy and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not. So I was thinking, well, maybe I should try a different um, subscription box. And so a lot of people told me to try Birchbox. So I decided to give that a whirl and this month happens to be my first month receiving Birchbox. And I believe when I started Ipsy, December was my first uh, month starting Ipsy. So it's kind of weird how that all worked out. But anyways, so I received my box yesterday. It comes in a little pink package, uh, pinkish, peach. It's more of a peach, I guess. Package just like this. Pretty excited. You know, it's, you know, it's something to look forward to. Um, it says it on the side, birch box. So, of course, when you see this in your mail, you're pretty excited. So, anyways, what is what was in my package? It was this little box right here. Very cute. Looks like a little gift. It pretty much is a gift. But, anyway, so I opened it up. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed. I was not disappointed. So, first thing in there are these little bitty gift tags. So, if you're giving this for, like, a gift or... Something like that, they give you some little tags that you can put on there um, to give to the receiver. So that's cool. Um, I can use this for holidays or whatever. I'm just going to stick it in my holiday stuff, to be honest with you, uh, right now, just because I don't need them. And then the second little thing says Shine On, and it's just a card. And I do like, first off, let me tell you, I do like on the back how they list the products right here. Like they tell you what you have in your box. And they also tell you what the full size uh, price of it is. And then they tell you what the products are supposed to do. Now, if you watch my Ipsy uh, unbagging videos, then you know sometimes I am looking at the products and I'm like, I have no idea what this is supposed to do. Like, what is this? You know, there are, sometimes the, um, the back of the bottle is in a different language, so I have no idea what to do. So I have to go online, Google it, etc. So you can go on Ipsy's website and look at the reviews and I found myself doing that a little bit more but I do wish that they put something in the box or in the bag anyways um, like this. So anyways I do like that first off so it's pretty nice. Now what did I actually get in my box? So for the first month I think I got some pretty good stuff. Alright so I received this yesterday and the first item is by Locke and it is a shadow stick. Looks like that. Let me show you the color. It's actually a really beautiful color. I mean, I must say, it's really pretty. I do like the color. Um, I do think that I could wear this. This reminds me of a color that I used to love and wear all the time in uh, my Coastal Scent, uh, one of their little palettes. I think it was the colored palette, the 88 color one. Anyways, but it was so pretty, I wore it to death, like literally to death. It was like amazing. But this one, um, I think that you could totally wear. You will have to like blend it out real well because it, when it dries, it ain't budging. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. I'm kind of like on the fence about all of those. Um, the other day, I tried a liquid lipstick and it was beautiful, but when it fully like dried, my lips felt like I had put concrete on them. It was, it was not the greatest, but the color was amazing. So it was kind of like, mm. they do give you in that little lip thing, a, um, like a, almost like a chapstick and moisturizer to put on your lips. That helped a little bit, but not that much. But anyways, and it was like really, really hard to get off. And last night, uh, when I received this, I put it on and I let it dry and then I run my finger over it a little while later. When it came time for me to actually get it off of my hands, I was in the bathtub having to scrub so hard to get it off. So, that, like I said, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. So, I am pretty excited to try this out though. So, I would say that's good. Uh, the second thing that I got was a Radiant Cream Primer. This one I'm pretty excited about too. Now, this one, it says that you can wear, what's little cards, so I can tell you, I'll tell you straight off. Um, yeah, this one, they say that you can wear this um, by itself, or you can wear it um, under your makeup, and it's supposed to give you this, um, like, gentle glow. So, to me, that's, that's always, like, you know, a plus for me, because everybody wants that little glow. You don't want to look dull and washed out and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know how it smells. Let's see if it's got any of us. Ooh. Okay, well, let's check this out. That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Do you guys see that? Interesting. 
take it off very carefully. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like here. Just, just a pinch. Okay, well it comes off a little white. Be careful squeezing it. Comes off like white. Oh, it's got it's got a little bit. I will say it's got a little bit of a um, shine to it. So yeah, I can see it giving you like that gentle glow, that luminous look. Because the you rub it in and you turn your hand, you can kind of sort of see it, but it's not so much like she just put you know powdered sugar all over her face. So anyways, nice scent. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about this, so I say that's good. Now the next item. Okay, let me just show you guys. Alright, so I decided last night that I was going to try this out because it's for a radiant glowing skin and I thought, yeah, whatever. So, I put it on last night. Let me tell you, okay? Let me just get it open. Yeah. It smells like you're putting medicine on your face. It did not have the greatest scent of all. It was so much medicine related that I had to go... And put it on like really quickly it was it was ugh. I, I I just don't like the smell of this it didn't it didn't make me feel bad like it didn't make my face feel bad I did wake up this morning and my face was smooth the only issue that I did have this morning was I was a little like red in certain areas so I don't know if my skin necessarily agrees with this but it just smells honestly like straight up medicine so I don't really exactly like that. I was pretty excited though because it was supposed to have, uh, what is it, like rose hip. Yeah, it's supposed to, it's a combination of rose hips, ginger, um, and a couple other things. And I was pretty excited about it, but just the smell is so overwhelming that I'm not excited about it. So I would say that's not my favorite part. Uh, but on to the next items, which are a shampoo and a conditioner. Anyways, I'm really excited about these. For one, they smell fantabulous, okay? If you like uh, Tommy Hilfiger, yeah, like, you know, the little bottle, the clear bottle with the silver little lid, I have it somewhere around here. This smells exactly like it. So I love the smell of this. I, I just, I cannot wait to put these in my hair. I think, you know, even though they're small and really compact and stuff, and you could always toss them away and take them, like, if you go on vacation or something, um... I think that they are going to, it's supposed to, it's an illuminating shine shampoo. Anyways, I think that the smell is going to last in your hair for a while. It's not going to be like you wash your hair and you can't even tell within like, you know, a day. I think the smell is definitely going to last a good while in your hair, but I'm pretty excited to actually try these. So, I mean, who loves shampoo and conditioner? Like, I love stuff for my hair. I cannot, like, say that enough. I love it because, you know... I pay a good amount of money to get my hair, you know, looking decent shaped so I can look halfway decent, like I care, you know, and sometimes that leaves my hair a little dry, a little damaged, sometimes it's a little oily, so I like to kind of alternate all of my hair products, and so I love to try different hair products. Alright, so the last item in the box comes in this little bitty envelope, just like this, and I wasn't even sure what it was at first, I was like, what is that? So you take it out, it's in some little bitty bubble wrap, very thoughtful. This is what the back looks like. And you turn it around, and it's a mirror. Yeah, so this is a little compact mirror, which I'm not upset about. Like, I, I think this would be great, especially, you know, if you're going somewhere, you know, you pop it in your purse, or if you're, you know, if you wear uh, lashes, I don't wear lashes, like, pff, the only time I think last year, or no, this year that I wore lashes, was when I was filming my Halloween tutorials. But if you wear your lashes or you do your eyeliner or whatever, this is great to kind of just pop in your bag and have. So I actually like this. Or you can pop it in your nightstand, you know, whatever. If you need to check yourself, you know, make sure you look good for when your husband comes in, you know. But I actually like it. I like that I got a mirror, so it's pretty cute though. So overall, I would say that I, I like this. I mean, this, this box, this birch box. I would say that I got some good products other than this one that I'm not really exactly feeling. But that's okay because not every product is going to agree with your skin. Not every product are you going to love. You know, one out of, you know, let's see, one, two, three. I guess you could count these as four, five products, you know. Um, are you going to love? But, I mean, one, yeah. Yeah, like I said, this the only problem that I had with this was the smell and then when I woke up and I had like red right here that was kind of like was kind of like bumpy like 
swollen, like I was having an allergic reaction to it. And on my chin, I was like, oh no. And then my nose all around started kind of look red. So yeah, this may not be the, the product for me, but still, I think it was a good box. I think it was a good first box. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, I signed up um, and I got it pretty soon. I signed up, it was, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago and I got it, you know, fairly, fairly decent time. And they do give you um, a tracking number so you can see where your package is and when it's supposed to arrive. Um, and it said that it was supposed to arrive on the 20th and it arrived yesterday, which was the 19th. So, I mean, it arrived before it said it would. So, I think it was a good box. I think that I will continue uh, to get Birch Box. Um, my first impression is it's a good box. Like I said, with everything, I mean, this helps so, so much. You'll be surprised how much it helps. And I do like the, you know, if you like the product that they do tell you, like the full size is like $10. Like for the, um, the eyeshadow stick, uh, like the full size is $10. The uh, face flash radiant primer, the full size is $28. The um, organic pharmacy, the cream that broke my face out, uh, full size is $88. The shampoo, full size is $22. And the conditioner, full size is 24 so I do like that because some products it's like oh I really like this but how much is it and then when you go to the store or you look on the website you're like Meow. so yeah so overall I would think uh well I think that this is a good first month box can't wait to get my next one next month but uh yeah so anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my ipsy bag videos if you like these type of videos don't forget to check out my ipsy versus birch box video uh, or my vlogs or my cooking or whatever else that is on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment below, and hit the notification bell to know when I post videos. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!